Atmospheric circulation patterns drive global weather systems. Tropical storms typically form in regions with warm ocean temperatures. Favorable atmospheric conditions are essential for tropical storm development. Warm ocean water evaporating is a key factor in tropical storm formation. Evaporation increases the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere above the ocean. Rising water vapor contributes to the energy needed for tropical storm development. Warm, moist air rises, initiating the formation of cumulonimbus clouds. As the air ascends, it cools and condenses, leading to cloud development. Cumulonimbus clouds form as the building blocks of a tropical storm. The Coriolis effect is caused by Earth's rotation. This effect deflects moving air. Deflection of air results in rotation around a central low-pressure area. A low-pressure system forms as air converges towards a central point. Rising air is a key characteristic of a low-pressure system. Low-pressure systems are the core of tropical storms. A tropical depression is the initial phase of a tropical storm. Tropical depressions are characterized by a defined circulation pattern. Wind speeds in a tropical depression reach up to 38 miles per hour. A tropical depression intensifies as wind speeds reach 39 miles per hour. Upon reaching 39 miles per hour, the tropical depression officially becomes a tropical storm. The newly formed tropical storm is assigned a name. Tropical storms are named alphabetically each year, following a predetermined list. Storm names are selected from rotating lists maintained by the World Meteorological Organization. The naming convention provides a clear and concise method for identifying and tracking storms. The Saffir-Simpson Hurricane Wind Scale classifies tropical cyclones based on maximum sustained wind speeds. Each category on the scale corresponds to a range of potential damage, from minimal to catastrophic. The Saffir-Simpson Scale provides a standardized method for communicating the intensity of a hurricane. An anemometer measures wind speed by converting the kinetic energy of the wind into a rotational motion. Measured wind speeds are correlated with storm intensity, providing crucial data for weather forecasting and safety alerts. Real-time wind speed data from anemometers aids in issuing timely warnings and preparing for severe weather events. Heavy rainfall, typical of tropical storms, is characterized by its high intensity and rapid accumulation. Intense precipitation can overwhelm drainage systems, leading to widespread flooding in vulnerable areas. The simulation demonstrates the direct correlation between rainfall intensity and the likelihood of flooding. Storm surge is an abnormal rise in sea level during a tropical storm. The surge is caused by the force of a storm's winds pushing water towards the coast. Storm surge can inundate low-lying coastal areas, causing significant flooding and damage. Tropical storms can cause significant wind damage to coastal communities. Flooding is a major consequence of tropical storms, inundating low-lying areas. Coastal erosion is accelerated by tropical storms, reshaping shorelines and damaging infrastructure. Heavy rainfall from tropical storms can cause significant river flooding. River flooding occurs when the volume of water exceeds the river's capacity. Inland communities are significantly impacted by river flooding, leading to property damage and displacement. A predicted storm track displays the potential path of a tropical storm. The storm track indicates areas potentially affected by the tropical storm. Storm track predictions aid in preparation and response efforts. Tropical storms dissipate when they move over land or cooler waters. Loss of warm ocean water as an energy source weakens the storm's intensity. Friction from land surfaces disrupts the storm circulation, leading to its decay.